Hi, good afternoon. I'm Angela Lefevre. I'm running for the House seat in Legislative District 6, State of Arizona. However, I'm not come today to speak to you about specifically about that election, but about one of the propositions, and that is Proposition 120. Um, it was brought about by uh, two of our three opponents. Uh, there are two House seats and one state seat. Uh, the Sorry, Senate seat. Chester Crandall is running for the Senate hat seat. Brenda Barton is one of our opponents for the House seat. The two of them were responsible for putting forward this Proposition 120 onto the ballot. Proposition 120 basically gives the state of Arizona sovereignty, sovereignty of our public lands, including our national monuments, including our national parks, that means the Grand Canyon, petrified forest. This is a state government that cannot keep its own state parks open. These would be, lands would be privatized and private organizations, companies would come in and commercialize our lands. You know, they look outside the window, I see beauty here. They see dollar bills. So it is very, very, very frightening what could happen should this bill ever pass. Well, number one, it's unconstitutional. So if it did pass, we'd end up spending millions and millions of dollars fighting it in the federal courts. Because guess what? It, it basically is against the founding, uh, the, 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 um, the rules and regulations that were set up when we were founded as a state 100 years ago. Our state has millions and millions of acres of public land, which are there for the people. That's what's so special about Arizona, especially northern Arizona. We make billions of dollars, we the state, make billions of dollars out of our tourism. And um, we, uh, we should continue to do that. We have many, many jobs that are derived from tourism. So reap the benefits. Reap the benefits of the fact of living in the most, one of the most beautiful places in the world where we attract Every, every nationality comes here from all over the world. Yeah, what happened was there was another bill, and I'm holding the copy of the veto right here. Uh, there was another bill, it was 1332, which was very similar. It went through the House, it was passed in the House, passed in the Senate, it went to the bill, to the governor to sign it. And I will say, for it was, uh, I will give credit to our governor, she vetoed it. And the reason why she vetoed it was because she, she recognized, number one, it was unconstitutional. Number two, she felt that uh, there was a lack of certainty that regarding private lands, what would happen in the future. And there was a fiscal concern that it would cost millions and millions of dollars for the state to manage these lands. And one other thing which is interesting, there's also significant costs involved in complying with some of, uh, some, some of the acts that do apply to our, our public lands, and that's the Clean Water Act and the Endangered Species Act, those are a couple there, which have to be complied with. I'm hoping that folks here will recognize this, will read it and see this is, they call it the land grab bill, which is what it is. But it's a way, it's asking for uh, Arizona to have sovereignty of the public lands. Sovereignty means total, full control. Okay, it doesn't mean just sitting at a table. It means that the state who couldn't keep their rest areas open, remember that? <laughs> they were all closed. We were fighting to keep our state park open. Good gosh, here in Sedona, remember the Red Rock State Park and the lengths we went to to keep that park open and why? Because the state could not afford to keep it open. And what else did they do? They swept the heritage funds, which were supposed to go to, to the state parks. They swept them into the general fund. And then more recently, they took $17 million out of funds that were taken as admission fees for the state parks. Our federal government does an awful lot of work to keep this place the way it is, as they are stewards. There are hundreds and hundreds of instances of where our federal government does an amazing job of protecting our lands. Sovereignty is a misnomer when it comes to one state 
which is a part of the United States of America. And we all pledge allegiance to the flag. And as the last time I saw, Arizona was one of those stars on the flag, right? We are one of many, okay? And that means that we should work together to make things work. And I don't think trying to create a sovereign state of Arizona does us any good whatsoever. That's what's so special about and beautiful about Arizona, is its open spaces and its beautiful public lands and its national parks.